All right, new year, new taxes. Several of President Biden's tax hikes set to hit American wallets as soon as today. Oof, January 1. For, jo for more on this, we're joined by Grover Norquist. Grover, appreciate you being here. This is an unbelievable thing to me, that they are going to hit Americans in what is a, a bad time economically, let's say, with more taxes. What do you say? We've been suffering through the overspending and the inflation. We've been suffering through the regulations and closing down energy. All of those things have happened. This is a new one. This is on top of everything else, okay? So what we've got is a new tax on crude oil, which will raise the cost of, of gasoline, a tax on coal, a tax on natural gas, and then this is tax on your 401k, your IRA, stocks. When companies decide the best thing they can do with their money is invest it in themselves by buying more stock because they think their stock is a good idea, you want to be invested in companies like that. There's a tax on it. It's punished. Good behavior is punished, and that will reduce the value of the stock you own in your 401k or your IRA. Yeah, I, but how can you... The notion of taxing somebody's retirement, the entire purpose of people, you know, going to uh, adding money to a retirement is to help them set them up for the future so they're not reliant on the government and taking more dollars down the line. Wait, am I not, am I just too foolish to understand this? No, no, you just put your finger on it. Keep the 60% of Americans who have money directly in the stock market, a 401k or an IRA, their retirement, their principal retirement, maybe their home and their, their stock portfolio, they're not, as you said, reliant on government. The Democratic politicians do not like people who are not reliant on government. They don't mm. say please and thank you. They don't vote correctly. They don't say, please, sir, get me some more. They are independent Americans who are very annoying to politicians who want to run their lives and be thanked for it. Yeah. It's a lot of work to tell us what kind of faucets to have in our shower and, and what kind of uh, you know, what our microwave should look like and how you separate the green glass from the white glass from the brown glass for the recycling. <laughs> yeah. These people work up a sweat doing this and they expect to be appreciated and not told by people that they want to run their own lives. Yeah. Well, Al, you were talking to us about some of the crazy new taxes out there. Well, I'm looking, we had, we had a fantastic graphic up a little bit ago. Uh, it's 74 billion stock tax. You got 1.2 billion in coal tax. I mean, how will each of these affect the average American? They, the, the, the tax on stock buybacks and, various, and stock things will reduce the value of your portfolio in, in your 401k, your IRA, in your retirement. Okay, Whatever kind of retirement you have, it's backed up by the stock market. They will make that worth less. Then the, on that, at the bottom, you had the $200 billion plus tax on corporations. Oh, well, that's not me. Well, actually... Where does a corporation get its money? It raises prices. That can get them the money to pay the $200 billion so we can have more inflation. Or if, if there's a competitive market out there and, and you, we can't raise prices, they reduce the number of people they hire and they reduce their pay. Mm. So most of the stock the taxes on the corporate income tax actually fall on consumers with higher prices, again, higher than what Biden's already done and lower wages. This, this is, we're now going into another year where wages in the United States are increasing slower than inflation. Right. Slower than inflation. This will make that worse. All right, uh, so Grover, real quick, uh, I got 15 seconds left. So Americans are just the money tree and Congress is gonna shake everything out of us? Uh, yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was <Yes>. easy. <laughs> Very easy. All right, Grover Norquist, Americans for Tax Reform. Sir, I'm sorry that we have to keep bringing bad news on this topic, but we appreciate you being here.